everyone, I would like to show you how you can uh, automate some of the parameters of your TR8 via MIDI in Logic. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to create a software instrument. I have here an empty Logic project going. So you click on software instrument and you can either do it here or later, but I prefer to do it here. In the instruments tab, you will need to go down to utility, external instrument and stereo. Let's create that instrument. Here we go, we have that, and this little thing pops up here. Uh, basically what this does is it's gonna send MIDI data out to an external instrument, and we're gonna receive audio signal back as well on this same MIDI track. I'm using the Native Instruments Audio 6 audio interface here, so I have to select that one as my MIDI destination. Uh, I'm sending MIDI data through a MIDI DIN cable, not a USB cable. And here we have to select to which channel we're going to send MIDI data. Uh, by default, the TR8 uses channel 10. So here we have to select channel 10. And in terms of input, I have my TR8 connected on my inputs number 3 and 4. So I'm going to select that so that we can hear what's happening. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's see what, what we have going. So basically we have a very simple um, a very simple kick and clap pattern. I'm gonna create here now uh, just a one bar um, MIDI bar. <laughs> So, and uh, we're going to draw in the automation that we want to draw in here by double clicking on it. So, and here's where our little handy little picture comes in, this one. This basically shows all the MIDI CC numbers for each automatable parameter on the TR8. So, since I want to automate the tune of the hand clap and the tune of the bass drum, I will need to focus on uh, CC number 58 and CC number 20. You'll be able to download this image via a link that I'm going to post in my uh, description. Okay, let's go back here. So we have the piano roll of this one bar here. Um, we have to go to View, MIDI Draw, Other. And here you'll be able to select whichever MIDI CC number that you need. So for me it was 58. Double click. Load. 58. And well, anyway, it's not at 58. Let me select 58. No, we are at 58, sorry. So, um, okay, let's automate the clap. Uh, make it, let's say. Alright, and then this one is going to be kind of lowish. And then I wanted to automate the kick, which was number 20, the tune of the kick. Yeah, so we are here now on control channel 10, 20. So we get high, low, come on. Something like that. Now let's have a look what it sounds like. So basically that's it. And then you can go nuts with all the other parameters and yeah. Do what you want to do. So thank you for watching again and if you have any questions just write a comment and I'll uh, do my best to answer them. Thank you again. See you next time.